Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this tutorial of how to create a convincing elevator. Now as you can see here I have a tile set of a closed elevator door. It is exactly three blocks wide and two blocks high. And within our event creation here we just have something to set a variable. We have a noise and an animation which is just playing a movement route. Now the movement route, it changes the image to slightly open and then just goes down left, right and up, you know, to cycle through those as if it was a walking character. The variable that we have sets it so when we are on floor one, we cannot access the floor number one within the elevator, it will not work, it will do nothing. And the same for floor two or basement. If you're on the floor, then you cannot select that floor. It will not do anything. Now, as you can see here between the uh, turning phases, we're just waiting 10 frames in between each. And then we have a player movement route just so we can move through the tile and it transfers us into the elevator space itself. Now inside the elevator, again, we have that closed uh, elevator door tile set. Uh, we also have a light in the center, and this is the switch for selecting the floors. And you can see we have if statements and show choices. So if floor lobby equals floor one elevator, it won't do anything, that's because we're already on floor one and we don't want it to, you know, go through the phase of moving since we're already on that floor. Now you can see for floor two and basement, we have shake screens, playing sounds, and the same for the uh, door movement. We have that for close and open. And if I just zoom in here, you can see there is um, no door image until we get to the end of that movement route and that selects none because we already have a tile set for a closed door and then when we go to open the door we have to change the image again but you can see it's pretty simple it's basically using switches which allows us to uh, say to the transfer event hey this is the floor we're on so transfer us to that floor so the way I had this before is I had three separate maps which just transferred me to a different elevator room. It was messy and you know it can just be optimized a lot more and that's all we've done. We've just got some switches so if we select choose floor two then it flips a switch on, uh, it plays the movement route which is the doors closing, plays the elevator sound, the machine, shakes the screen left to right, plays a bell sound and then opens the door. However, because we have that switch selected, transfer event that I've got at the door, it selects from that list. So for this event, the transfer event, we have if statements, if floor one is on, then it transfers us to floor one, we turn it off again, and so on. So very simple, very optimized, and you know, it just works perfectly. As you can see on the outside here, I was using um, just a different way of doing it, I didn't like it, so I'm going to this new method of making this, um, you know, this convincing elevator idea, which is using the closed doors as the tile set, and then just overlaying that with the event of the door opening itself. And it overlays perfectly because we have the tile set set as a cross or an X, which is uh, collidable, but it also means that it's, um, it's not going to show above the event. So you see there, we're just selecting the image, which is the doors opening and or closing. Um, but yeah, that's how I made this elevator system. I think it works, you know, really well. Uh, so I'll just let you see it now. So there's the, um, the doors are already closed. Now they're open, you're inside, you can select the floor from this switch. If you see, if I select floor one, it does nothing. Mm. 
and then floor two closes the doors, plays the sound. You know, I think it works fantastically well. Uh, but that's it. You know, that's um, that's how I created this uh, convincing elevator. You know, I say convincing because it makes sense to me. Like it's an actual elevator. Like it feels like it's moving. You know, in reality, you're not moving. The screen's shaking. You're in the same map. But I think it works pretty well. Yes, that's going to be it for this for this uh, quick tutorial on how to make a convincing elevator. Uh, this is also going to be a new series that I'm thinking of creating, just these short form tutorials for specific ideas or specific things. So please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see anything specifically or anything you're having trouble with and maybe I could help out. Please let me know and, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys within the next episode. See you.